Welcome back everyone. This is the first video in a multi-part video series uh, that we're going to talk about basically making some Python functionality available uh, over the internet and then kind of securing the whole uh, pipeline for deploying that, etc. Uh, but the first video is just going to be talking about us creating a couple of functions in Python for the purpose of generating fake Amazon Web Services access keys. So right off the bat, disclaimer, this is not uh, meant for nefarious purposes. It's meant to test detective controls that may look for network traffic that resembles you know, downloading or uploading AWS keys um, in the clear specifically. Uh, but yeah, so instead of using actual AWS keys for that, it makes sense to generate ones that look like AWS keys. Um, please do not try and log into somebody's AWS tenant by generating tons and tons of AWS keys and just firing at will, so to speak, that is illegal most likely and will probably end you up in jail. So uh, with that disclaimer, we can go ahead and get started. So my development environment for this purpose is just VS Code. I have already uh, done a clone of my repo in GitHub. So there's nothing here except for my readme.md file. So I'm just gonna add something to make sure that we can actually append these things. Um, so I'm gonna put a period at the end of this and then commit. Uh, and I will do that here. So now I can just commit all, uh, save all and commit, and then I'm gonna sync this. Oh, yep, added a period. All right, and then we'll go ahead and sync and go over to my browser and refresh. And there you have it. So what this means is, you know, this is set up properly, so now I can just push code to my GitHub repo from VS Code. Um, so the next step is actually going to be to create a new file, and we're going to call that AWS Keygen uh, .py, and um, then we'll go ahead and start adding some code here. So the first thing I'm going to do is import random, and the reason I'm going to do that is because we're basically generating a random string that looks like AWS keys. Um, and for our kind of formatting, we're, we're basically going to take to the AWS uh, documentation. And this is what it looks like. This is what the AWS credentials file will look like when you generate a new access key. Um, and so we're going to be generating a string that is 20 characters alphanumeric as well as a string that is 40 characters alphanumeric. Um, with the addition of some slashes here. Now the difference between the two is the first one is obviously all caps. Uh, the second one is seems to be random caps thrown in there and then again uh, a couple slashes here and there. So that uh, is essentially going to be our, our dictionary of characters to choose from or our list of characters to choose from and I will go ahead and copy and paste that since I've already created it. Okay, so now that we have our list of characters, uh, we're going to define our first function, which is going to be AWS underscore ID. Um, and basically, what I want to do is create this string called output. It's going to start out by being blank, and then I'm going to iterate uh, a certain number of times through a, a for loop uh, for the length of the string that I'm trying to create, which again is 20 characters. Um, so I'm just going to do a for loop for I in range 20. And then I'm basically going to say output plus equals. So that means each iteration is basically going to add a character to the output string. Uh, and that's going to be random.choice and then cares.upper. Uh, so now I can just simply return output and then go down and form a print statement. Print AWS underscore ID. And then I can basically just run that. So there you go, there's my, uh, there's my ID string. Uh, I can then print the length of that to verify, again, it should be 20. Um, I'll go ahead and run that. Of course I need another parentheses. So it's 20. Um, okay, so we can go back and I'm just gonna print a bunch of these for testing purposes, right? Because I haven't done a whole lot of logic here. Um, so I'm just gonna print this. Oh, we have a mistake. Uh, remember, this should be alphanumeric, uh, although it should be uppercase, which is correct, but we have some, some slashes in there which should not be there. So what we're going to do is actually limit the number uh, of indices that we can use in CARES. So since I've already uh, done this, I know that it should be 0 through 36. Uh, and then I can go ahead and run that again. And then if I run it enough times, we should be able to see that I have my last character, which is Z. 
Um, and then I also have nine. So nine actually should be the last character. Uh, there should never be any slashes, which of course come after nine. Um, I do not see any slashes and I'll run a couple more times for good measure. And I am happy with the result. So now what we can do uh, is we can get rid of this print statement and then we can go ahead and define our next function, which is going to be AWS underscore key. Uh, we're going to start with a blank output string again. And basically, you know, I mentioned that this is actually 40 characters in length. Um, it does have random uppercase characters and it does have our forward slashes. So we're going to do for i in range 40. Um, and then we're basically going to do the same thing, output plus equals random dot choice cares. We don't need to actually limit anything, uh, but here's our first problem, right, is that we want random uppercase characters. So if I just did this and printed it, we'd have a 40 character string um, and all of the characters would be present here, uh, but none of them would be uppercase. So what we need to do is, is generate... Um, an uppercase character, which I'm going to use a variable for, and I'm going to call that ran upper uh, equals random dot choice. And then I only want this to be uh, alphabet characters, right? So we'll go 0 through 26 in our cares list, and I'll just say cares 0 through 26, uh, and then we'll make this uppercase. So what that's going to do is it's going to give us a variable each time this runs, and it's just going to be a random letter. Right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this variable and then take a choice between that and any of the other characters in cares. Um, so our output is now going to be, uh, we're basically going to set it up like this. So ran upper is choice one and then random dot choice is just cares uh, at this point. Okay. Da, da, da. And then we can just print this. Print AWS underscore key. And see what that looks like. Now we have none because there's no return statement. So remember to put a return statement. Return output. Save and run again. Okay, so that looks decent. Um, what you'll notice though is if I start to print out more of these, so here's an example. There's a slash at the end. I don't, I don't really want a slash at the end. Um, and if I were to keep printing this, I imagine I would eventually see a slash at the beginning. And there you have it. So we're going to add some constraints where we will never append a slash um, to the first or last character of our output string. Right. So the way that that's going to look like is if i equals 0 or i equals 39, um, then we're going to limit our, basically our character list, right? So we're going to, we're basically just going to copy this um, and then add some constraints to characters, which would be right here. And I'm just going to go 0 through 36 since I know there will not be any slashes in that case. So then I'll put this in the else block. Um, there we go. Okay, so now there should never be a slash um, in the beginning nor end of the output string. Uh, and that's, you know, I could probably do a better test than, than this, right? But that's, that's probably good enough for the purpose of this video. Um, so yeah, now the last thing is to make this look like our actual credentials file, right? So we have this default string, uh, so we can basically just add a print statement for that, right? Uh, and then we'll have, uh, this little snippet, AWS access key ID, um, print, and then plus AWS ID. And the last one is going to be the actual access key, right? So we'll do that here, and plus AWS key. So now if I were to print that, I would get the exact results that I'm looking for. So you can obviously do, you can wrap this in a for loop and, you know, for a specific range, like if I wanted to print 50 of them, right, I could just wrap this in a for loop that said 4i in range 50. Um, but for the purpose of this video, this is basically what we wanted to get to. So I'm going to add a couple comments and then I'm going to uh, commit this to our GitHub and, or my GitHub rather, and uh, then I will end the video with a couple of final remarks. 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and sync that. Um, give it a second. Go back over to GitHub. And refresh. So now we see our AWS keygen.py file. Um, as you can see, that's right here with a couple comments added. So this is, you know, it's just the, the raw file on GitHub. Um, so I can just go ahead and download this. We'll consider this another system. So I've downloaded the file um, to another system and it's technically just uh, bash for Windows. But in any case, you know, I can, I can list that file and then I can just run it with Python 3. Uh, and there you go. We will get the results that we're looking for. So of course, if I wanted to test this further, right, I could just run it over and over and over and over again. Verify I'm not getting any slashes. Verify that I'm getting my Z's and my 9's, which I am. Uh, and that looks good. So at this point, you know, I, I think um, the last thing that I wanted to kind of end on is that in the next video, uh, we're going to expand on this and basically turn it into a Flask application with a RESTful API, meaning that you can simply go to a public endpoint over the internet and then it will generate your fake AWS keys for you. Uh, and then we'll expand on that as the kind of videos progress. But uh, in any case, thank you for watching the video and hopefully you enjoyed the series.